you want to make sure there's minimal amount of bias on the age, sex, etc., you, you, you have to understand how you, your algorithm is built. And here we see an example. You can base it on, on samples from patients and then discover that certain lesions or certain abnormalities are associated with an outcome, a clinical outcome. Or you can look at what clinicians have been doing for the past 150 years, which is look for sample biomarkers, in this case hemorrhages and exudates, which you see on the bottom. So these are tiny areas of the, of the, the retina in this case, where you see abnormalities. But those are the same whether someone is from Iceland or from Kenya, whether the background color is of the retina is one or, or another. It doesn't matter if they have the hemorrhage, they have the disease, and otherwise they don't. So it's a sort of invariance to racial, ethnic, and even age factors.